Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Winnie Jean. If you're new here and if you're returning, then hey girl, how you doing? Today's video is sponsored by IC Hair. They sent me over a 24 inch, 250% density yakky textured wig and I am so excited to get into it today. I'm trying their new M cap structure wig, which I believe is my first time trying an M cap wig from them. But essentially it's just a closure wig with some really cool upgrades, including a C shape designed around your ear, which is supposed to make the wig a lot more comfortable. I'm not gonna lie, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. I feel like I love closure wigs, but they're really hard to wear for an extended period of time. When I put my closure wig on, I like to wear it for at least two, three days, child. And traditional closure wigs kind of have a little flap by your ear, and depending on the placement, it just kind of sits funny and can be really uncomfortable. So I'm excited about that. It has removable combs. A really nice size closure I believe it's like nine by six and it also has pre bleached knots a pre plucked hairline and it's pre cut so very beginner friendly very busy girl friendly okay cuz let's get into it we're trying to be outside this summer not in the bathroom doing our hair now to begin styling this wig I went ahead and washed the wig right out of the bag for yakky texture hair I feel like it just holds a curl a lot better when it's clean so I used the clarifying shampoo and a moisturizing conditioner let her air dry and then I use my hot comb to press out the hairline and get it nice and flat so our install can be on point. With this wig, most of the work was pre-done for me to be honest, so at least I can do is wash it, child. I'm going ahead and doing a ball cap method because the lace on this wig is impeccable and I feel like the better quality the lace, the more important it is to do a ball cap method because you can really see through it. If the lace is a little bit thicker, you can honestly get away with just popping a wig cap on your head and using a little bit of concealer to kind of blend everything together. But with some real, real, real good lace, you have to have a seamless ball cap. It's just non-negotiable. The lace is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so I'm going in with my bronzer and just giving it a little zhuzh to make sure that it blends with my complexion perfectly. And do you see this install already? We haven't styled it or anything, but the lace is laid. Like, they kind of did that. Before we go ahead and get into styling, I like to use my hot comb and just press out the roots on the closure to get everything laying nice and flat. Especially with a fresh wig, you kind of have to train the hairs to go where you want them to go. So I'm taking the hair in sections and applying a little bit of this Ultra Hold Tresemme hairspray before I go in with my hot comb and press everything out. And as you can see, it just makes it look super flat on that right side. The left side is giving tall, honey. The last thing you want is a tall last wig. Absolutely unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. We, I will not have it, okay? I will not stand for it. Now we have our wig on and she's nice and pressed out. She's clean, she's ready to style. And even though she's absolutely gorgeous, I feel like a good cut is going to really give this wig some shape and compliment our little cute faces. Okay, we got to get into it, really frame that face. So I'm parting out a section from the crown of my head to just behind my ear and using my razor comb to kind of create a 45 degree angle cut, adding in some nice face framing layers, nothing too crazy. I didn't even bring the layers all the way around. I wanted it to be really, really full at the bottom and the back and kind of like nice and dense all the way through not too many layers and then a cute little old school kim k middle part 
double swoop situation in the front. I feel like the descriptions that I give for hairstyles are diabolical. But at the same time, you know exactly what I'm saying. You know you know exactly what I'm saying. To get these curls, I use my 1-inch Babyliss Pro Flat Iron. I am in love with this thing. It does a great job on my natural hair. And because this texture of extensions mimics natural hair when it's in a straight form, these flat irons are gliding through it like butter making these curls. They came out gorgeous and they lasted for a couple of days, which is kind of a big deal for some yakky hair. Like yakky and kinky straight are two of my favorite hair textures Ever. like I love them I love the body I love the the fullness it just gives but it does not hold a curl child at all I was so impressed with how well this hair held a curl the lace is gorgeous when they say it's pre-bleached it's pre-bleached I didn't pluck one hair it was so easy to install and I can't wait to put it back on I might even add some bangs but I'm not sure yet am I tripping let me know what you think But I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye, babes.